Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Game number three of the series between Admiral Price and Scotty. Two great players fighting two great closely contested matches, but it all comes down to this. One of these players is going home right now. We are at the map Crossroads. Under the new system, there are seven maps in the pool, and you veto one until one is left standing. Crossroads is that map. Great map full of these subtle hills with two sides, a lower and a higher end, along some trees to hide maybe a fire rocket or something. And speaking of hiding, Scotty has a Kisho Ninja over here in the middle. We'll see what he plans on doing with that. And Admiral Price has really changed up his army yet again, having, of course, his strong cavalry corps here in the middle like he pretty much always brings. But he's bringing swords this time. Got some Katana Samurai and some Naginata Monks. And fight an engagement right here. The Great Guard's going to roll the dice and hit that Yard Cavalry. We have a cavalry battle in the early moments, ladies and gentlemen. These players are chomping at the bit, ready to go. And we'll see who wins this cavalry engagement because this is going to be huge. Neither side has a lot of spears, so whoever has cavalry left standing after this will surely take this match. The Kishun just came out as well and didn't do any bombing, it seems, but that's going to be enough to scare off this Yari Cavalry, and Scotty seems to be getting the better of the engagement at this point. But the General for Admiral Price is coming in, and the Yari Ashigaru. It's too bad nobody has Yari Samurai. If they advance rapidly, that would be a huge game-changer in this cavalry battle, but Scotty may get a flank off, but more Katana Cavalry coming in. This is going to be very interesting. Yari Ashigaru coming up as well in good position here to take out this cavalry. One Katana Cavalry going over to the Yari Ashigaru trying to capture the Sword Dojo. These buildings would be huge and very important if one side can get them, but Admiral Price looks like he's going to hold strong here. Looks like he'll win the cavalry engagement, but this Great Guard is coming in as well, going for the General, but breaking off at the last second, trying to get into a charge, and Admiral Price is pulling out now. He's going to lose a lot of men pulling out when they're engaged with spears right here. So both sides just got clobbered on their cavalry, but Admiral Price is going to pull out the the win, but it was a bloody victory as all of his cavalry except one are under half strength. In fact, this Yari cavalry is a 15 men wavering, and it's going to be close. We're looking at infantry advantage. Let's see, for Admiral Price, he has four swords, three katanas, nope, two katanas and two nodachis against the five katanas of Scotty. And actually, there's a katana hero too, I didn't notice that. And he's just tearing this cavalry apart, so Admiral Price is not going to be able to pull his cavalry out. And they're getting torn down here, so Scotty is pulling out an early advantage here. He managed to route the Yari Ashigaru over there, only losing two men in the process, and so Admiral Price will not get the Sword Dojo. And now, it's going to be really close, just like the last two games. It looks like Scotty definitely has an infantry advantage, especially with that Katana hero sitting at 22 men. But Admiral Price had a cavalry advantage, but... They all just got routed, and now he has one Katana Cavalry at half strength, one Katana Cavalry here at full strength. Scotty has one Katana Cavalry, having only lost two men sitting at 58. Nodachi's running out and bonsaiing, actually. But the Kisho Ninjas for Scotty are going to get a bomb off. Didn't kill too many, but broke up the charge, and so they're not going to get a good charge off. The Naginata of Monks might be able to pull this one out and kill that Nodachi's. In fact, without getting off a good charge, I would imagine that the Naginata Monks will win there. But if this Kisho Ninja can get off a second bomb before that cavalry hits, and a couple bombs get off. But the Kisho Ninja, it looks like it's going to get torn off the field. Uh, wavering at 30, but Admiral Price is pulling back. So the Kisho Ninjas are not going to be routed, at least not yet. Uh, Scotty's Katana Cavalry is going to pull him out. Katana Hero, ooh, that's probably not a good decision. Katana Heroes are not very weak at charges, and wavering on the Katana Cavalry means that the Katana Hero is going to win that engagement. Did kill four of them, though sitting at 18 men on that Katana Hero. There go the Nodachi Samurai. Well, they're going to go any second now. There they go. They're broken. And so Scotty is left with an infantry advantage. No cavalry left for Admiral Price outside of his general. Oh, there is this one right here. The Katana Cavalry there. But Scotty has one as well. Let's see what he tries to do here. Is he going to try for early cavalry or just pull back and hope his infantry can get off a good engagement and flank? It looks like he's just going to be aggressive and go right for the Katana Samurai, but he's in danger of getting sandwiched here. A great guard left for Scotty with 10 men, and the Katana Cavalry is just not going to get a good charge off. Sitting at 32 men, he decides now to pull him out and maybe hope for a better engagement later. Nodachis and the Katanas are going to meet. Let's see how good of a charge that the Nodachis got off here. Pretty good. Killed about 20 men. But the Nodachi's down to similar numbers, so the Katanas should win that fight. Throwing his great guard maybe in just an effort to break the charge here into the Naginata Monks with only 10 men. It's about as good as you can do. And Admiral Price is actually going to be surrounded here. Scotty has got a little half circle going on. And this looks very good for Scotty. He can pull off a big upset here and knock Admiral Price out of the tournament. Rally has popped there for Scotty. Got a Yari Ashigar is going to be moving up. He has to be moving all of his units up right now and just close in on this attack. Admiral Price is very bunched up. 
He's got to be moving now. Get that micro. These units on the fringes. There they go. Now get out of Monks are going. Kisho Ninjas still standing. Warcry's been popped for Admiral Price. He's going to try and grind this one out. And actually, he gets off a pretty good engagement here. And Admiral Price is flanking with two Katana Samurai, or one Katana Samurai and a Nodachi, putting his general stand to fight right on the front. But, oh, this is going to be a big charge. But they get stopped by the Naginata Monks. They get held up. Oh, that would have been huge. If Scotty loses this battle, he'll be kicking himself if that charge didn't get off. But they managed to get out of the grip of the Naginata Monks. And there's the charge. Ladies and gentlemen, Scotty looks like he's going to pull this out. Big charge there. And just going to sandwich those Naginata Monks sitting at 45 men and wavering and losing men fast. This Naginata Monk could hold out quite well. But against a Katana Hero and a Naginata Monk with more men, they will fall eventually. Scotty pulling off for another big charge. The Katana Cavalry maybe just want to leave him in melee as their melee attack is a little better than their charge. But Admiral Price started to power through here, but now he's wavering himself. And this will be close, but there go the Naginata Monks on the edge. And ladies and gentlemen, it looks like Scotty is pulling out the upset. And Admiral Price is going to be out of this tournament. Bombs there, the manor bombs from Scotty. It's going to send them running. All that's left is the general making a last stand with 26 men. And on crossroads in game number three, there it is. Scotty playing as the Hojo, pulls out the victory, and he stays alive in this tournament. Admiral Price is knocked out. But what a great series it was. So close. I'll see you back on the main menu. You know, there's only been a few series in this, in this tournament where every single game was a nail-biter, but that was one of them. Very exciting match. Both players knowing that their future in the tournament is on the line and just fighting to the last man. And what a close series it was, but it's going to be Scotty pulling out the victory and moving on in this tournament. Admiral Price is officially out. What an exciting match. Two great players. And Scotty proving that he definitely deserves to stay alive and be in this tournament. One of the better players, I think, in this tournament. Well, from what I've seen, I've been very impressed with this play. And he's... I just... I mean, I'm kind of speechless right now. That was just such a great series. Both players left everything on the field and Scotty's moving on. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you in the next match.